I enjoyed doing this so much last week that I decided I'm going to try to do it again this week. Guys, the back nine just came out today on Saturday. It's a little bit behind. We're just craziness of the week and everything. Um, but what, this this week, we got another sort of theme. We're sticking with this undervalued theme. Uh, we've been working on, um, guys, this is not me. This is the CBS Riot Riders. And this week is top 10 undervalued moderns. But wait, there's a catch. Undervalued moderns, CGC 9.8 or over 500. Top 10 undervalued moderns, CGC 9.8 over 500. So let's take a look at what the CBS I writers think, which books that they suggest. This is not the definitive list, but these are some books that we think are going to be sort of key books to look for that have potential to grow just like UF4 did. These are the ones we think. First off, we have Static. Guys, this is not in any order. These are just the way we put them in. The Static number one, the Platinum Edition, a 9-8. After some legal battles, Milestone is ready for a comeback, and Static move inches closer to being made. A, made. So a 9-8 of the Platinum variant still sells for under a 1,000. Once Static goes into beast mode on American, on American general audiences, expect this book to explode. That's from Josiah Ocampos, who did who does our tinfoil spec. So check, look for this book. This has already been hard to find, but a 9-8 of this book, if you can find it, the Platinum. Now, guys, there's lots of, there's, I think, three different covers for this, but the Platinum is the one you want if you want to go for the uh, the future potential of the book. Second book we have is Star Wars, Darth Maul, Son of Death, Darth Maul, number one, the Wizard Sketch variant. Uh, Darth Maul and Stark Saber books are only going to get more popular as their lore expands upon the coming show. I wouldn't doubt seeing more of the Shadow Collective in the future, as it is basically Star Wars' version of the Sinister Six. This sketch variant is limited to 500 copies. This is one to get, and that's from Paul or Pete Dubs. So, and he's he's been an off and on contributor. He does tells from the flip side, and he contributes a lot of times to the back nine. So this is his pick for a nine eight over 500 that has a lot of potential to continue to grow. Next book we have is Batman Beyond, number one. First appearance of Batman Beyond. Um, whether or not you do all the entire back and forth, this is what the Marcus decides is the first appearance. Um, I've seen some good deals lately. I feel like this book hits 5K sooner than later. DC Comics ASM 300 without a shadow of a doubt. J Jason Shaw. Guys, basically this is... This book and Harley are the two big books for DC of any modern characters that have the most potential to grow. Um, and by grow, they're already ridiculously priced, but they can continue to grow. So Batman Beyond, I think, is underpriced still. Jason Shaw thinks so, too. So look out for this book if you can find it. Uh, this was my pick, Amazing Spider-Man number four, the one for 10 uh, Remote variant. Uh, basically, as there's... Spider-Man is always overprinted. There's thousands of copies out there. This one for 10, though, has always been hard to find for the past five or six years. But even last year or two years ago, a raw copy was 40 bucks, $60. But because Cindy Moon was in the movie, not Silk, but Cindy Moon, and then there's all those, these rumors of a Spider-Verse related Silk movie characters TV show coming out. Once ever this truly gets confirmed and this happens, this is already a $500 9.8. This is going to skyrocket to the $1,000 range easily. It's also a fabulous cover. So this would be one I'd be might go for. I actually have a, I don't have a 9.8, but I do have a copy of it, and I'm very glad to have gotten it before the spike that's happened, but the continuing spike that's going to happen. Next book we have on here is Batman number one, New 52, the one for 200. Guys, this book was heavily printed, and it went to a fifth, maybe even a sixth printing. I know it was even in Walmart variant packs. Um, but this one for 200 is still a hard book to find, especially in 9.8. And guys, the Court of Owl spec, when it hits, as John Z says, Court of Owl spec has tons of legs, and this issue is the start of an epic run. The new video game featuring the Court of Owls is going to help reel in more believers. Live action spec is great, too, for this issue and run. Issue one is a classic that will be timeless, book to have for all Batman collectors for many years to come. Guys, it I mean, this got me back in one of the books that got me back in the ring, this this arc of Batman. So definitely worth I would love to have this one for 200 Uh, This is from Mike Morello, who does cover tunes for us uh, in Cover Fire. Considering Gwen was arguably way cooler than Miles in the film, it is, a, it is as huge with cosplayers and female readers and some male readers as Miles is with male readers. 
There's no reason why she doesn't catch up with Miles pricing soon. I think we look back on this book in a few years and we're going to be angry we didn't buy in. I have, I thankfully got my copy before the giant spike that's already happened. Guys, the land cover is already at the $1,000, $2,000 range, but this one does have that potential. I agree with Morello. Even though it is already a $1,000 book, there is potential there for it to continue to climb. I don't see it declining. Uh, next book we have here is the point one, point number one, point one number one variant. It's the first appearance of Sam Alexander, who is Nova, uh, the, the new Nova. This book was sold for five hundred or best offer in nine eight recently. I think there's a tons of room here for growth in value with the sketch variant being almost a ghost mode. Lots of people are jumping on the Sam Alexander train. Disney is going to push this kid to the moon. That's for the Mighty Mel V. If you check out his drunken chats, um, but this is one he specs on. This is a Hard one to come by. This I think this is a one for 75, I believe. Um, so if you can pick it up and find it, and then and also 9A, because I think these are a little thicker and thicker books a lot of times don't, or fatter books don't necessarily grade well. Saga number one. First appearance of the main characters. This story was, even though it's been in a lull, Saga number one or Vader number three, both right around 500. Waiting for news on both. They do... Then they do the Clone Clone Wars number one in full force. That's from Walker. Walker is a king when it comes to spec, and in a lot of, a lot of his. If you ever read his Walker report, um, guys, I've been searching for Saga number one in the wild for a long time. I have a third print. I have a fourth print, but a Saga number one. I think this book. He's right. This is a five hundred dollar book, and then some. It's always going to climb if they ever get the chance to make this into a show or an animator or anything. It's going to freaking really ridiculous it's a great read if you haven't read it too Ooh, let me go back one star wars darth vader number three sorry that that last image wasn't supposed to be in there. It's from the last back nine uh i'm just gonna take db3 because it's right at 500 right now and no reason they won't be going a, a thousand before long with this marker there's no reason it and the one for 25 can't mirror the edge of spider verse in values outside of Ahsoka, Ahsoka, this is another Star Wars character people really want to see on the screen. That's from Peter Renner of Dollar Bin Digging and Three Comic Money and everything else that he does on the site. Uh, but yes, guys, gone are the days where you could find these in your back issue bins. Everyone has picked these up now. There, it, there is no secret. Um, for a while there, you could find it in some back issues, and it was a ten dollar book, but it's now I think a seventy or eighty dollar raw. But it's easily a nine eight is climbing, and it's going to be five hundred plus. And the the one for twenty five is just ridiculous with the, but it has doesn't have her on the cover. I do wonder if this one could spike just because it has her on the cover. Uh, this is Teen Titans twelve first appearance of Batman who laughs. Uh, nobody can deny the, deny the strength of the staying power of Batman who laughs. With no movie, cartoon, or video game news, this is a comic book with so much potential. No high ratio variants. Just to cover A and B and a second print in a convention foil. This book is going to take, going to have staying power. And when the inevitable, inevitable live action news hits, however long it takes, it will be out of this world. That's from Valiant. Used to do some writing, still does occasionally do some writing articles for CBSI. Yeah, guys, this is another one of those that you used to be able to find occasionally in a back issue bin or an overlooked book just because people 13 Titans are in, in the back issues. No longer. This is always every run of Teen Titans. I find this book is gone. Um, this is high, find it in high grade nine eight. It's a five hundred dollar book. It's it will probably continue to climb. It has him on the cover. Um, that's what makes this one so desirable. There is an A and a B cover, but the A cover is the one because it has him on the cover. Uh, Invincible Iron Man nine first full appearance of Rear Williams. Invincible Iron Man nine is the next Ultimate Fallout four. It'll reach one uh, one thousand five hundred dollars, maybe not this year, but likely after her own show in twenty twenty two, and during the Armor War series. These two shows are slated back to back. Three K is the ceiling for this book. The new reality is in the market of modern comics has me making bold predictions, and I don't see it anything wrong with it. That's from Phil, who does vintage comics. He does this article. This is his baby that he puts together for us, and he he's betting on Invincible Iron Man number nine. Guys, I agree. Um, I still lean towards seven, but 
nine is a killer book. And of course you got the, the two variants for it. But if you have them in nine, eight guys, I would hold unless you just need the money. If you have two, you can sell one of them, but man, this, this is, has such huge potential of a book that's going to be in the 1500 to 2000 range for a while. So yeah. And once again, guys, this is the back nine. Top 10 undervalued CGC 9.8 over $500. Guys, I know that's a crazy title. It's sort of ridiculous what we have there. But what we're, what we're talking about, what we're looking at, is these killer books that you could have. Um, that Some of them, I'm looking at them, I'm going, man, I got these in back issue bins. They're not 9.8s. Man, I wish I had got a 9.8 back when it was $40 or $100. And now they're in these these five hundred dollar range prices, and it's just insane to think about. So once again, CBSI, comicbookinvest.com. Thank you for watching.